Hi, this is Second Story Garage. I'm Quentin Young, here with Jeff Austin and Eric Turin. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. Uh, Jeff, uh, former frontman of Yonder Mountain String Band, but this has been a, a huge uh, year for you. You've got a new band, you've got a new album coming out February 10th, um, Simple Truth. Tell us about that. Tell us about Simple Truth. It was actually recorded right here in Boulder. It was right? recorded last March, yeah. Um, Eric and I and uh, Ross Martin, who plays guitar, and Danny Barnes, who plays banjo and plays a lot of guitar on the record as well, The, the four, primarily the four of us along with a, a bunch of other musicians, Cody Dickinson, made the record at E-Town Hall. And uh, we lived in there for 10 days, and, and just it was, it was really nice. It was a nice, fluid place, because we were familiar with the space. Mm -hmm. All of us were. Eric's played there a number of times. And, yeah. and it, was, uh, it was just nice to really move in. And James Tuttle did the engineering. And, and uh, it's kind of strange to look back now. It's been almost a year since we made the record. Right, and, right. And now it comes out. It's, so how would you describe the sound as compared to what your fans have heard from you in the past? How would you describe the sound, Eric? Yeah, maybe you should well, get I never listened to him in the past. So. <laughs> yeah. but, Why um, would you have? Yeah, you know. It wouldn't <laughs> let him in. <laughs> <laughs> no, the record is pretty much its own, its own entity, I think, and its own project. And we do pretty much all the songs, and we will eventually add all the songs to our repertoire as the touring four-piece. But, um, but like you said, there's drums on there, there's a whole horn section, and, uh, and it's just... We kind of went in and kind of created something, and um, and now we're, you know, as we try to be creative enough to uh, make that transfer onto the, a live stage. Yeah, and it's in a completely different. It's sometimes a completely different setting. There's some definitely some acoustic and uh, bluegrass type moments on the record, mm -hmm. but uh, Fidd fiddling around is fiddling around yeah. is one in particular. Yeah, and it was nice to like Eric said to let it really kind of be its standalone thing, you know, and not get hung up on. It has to look or sound a certain way because we might look or sound a certain way when the four of us play live. It's also a fun challenge to all of us to say we have this song that was maybe really driven by drums or electric guitars. How do we transfer that now over? Mm -hmm. And that part is pretty neat because it's, it's you know, surrounded by creative people and you, you find... You work through it and you feel your way around and then finally you, you land there. You, so. you were talking about different ways of interpreting this material. Take today, for example, where you're doing it as a du duo. Yeah, just, uh, we've Mando. never done that before. So. That was the first time you yeah. did that today. Right. It's a common understanding. We've been playing music together for off and on 10 years, which is weird to think about. That, that side, you know, Do a side project and Eric was there and then Danny was always there too. By the know. way, we were talking about Eric before in our pre-interview. We were. And, uh, it was all good. <laughs> We, well, yeah, right. we, won't, we, we won't disclose some of the things we said, but no, we were talking about Eric being, well, Eric's, you're from Lions. You live in Lions? Or yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, and, and Eric plays with just about everybody, right? It, it, it speaks to the, the vocabulary he's able to play with, you know, which was really cool. It, it allowed, and it goes back to the record being just kind of its own thing. We could go in and um, we also had access to the magic closet of Nick Forster, Nick um, Forster, who is the, you know runs E Town right. and the voice of E Town, and in Hot Rise, yeah, of course, absolutely. And um, he has a amazing collection of instruments from all different eras and all different sounds. And we got access; we got the magic key, so we could say this song kind of has like a '70s JJ Kale weird funk kind of feel to it. Walk in and be able to find a bass from that time, be able to find guitars from that time, and, and uh, oh wow, yeah, it was, it was pretty. But it, you only spent ten days there. <laughs> I slept in that closet for two extra weeks. Nobody knew. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> they, can imagine. They were... <laughs> With, um, Eric was saying before, you've already played about 50 shows as Jeff Austin Band. I mean, if, that, if, that, if we played that many, then that's a bunch. Yeah. I, well, I, maybe. Wasn't even, I don't know. Well, probably got to be close. Was there a moment where, where you, you, you kind of felt like you made that transformation? Like you, you parted ways with Yonder Mountain, I think, April last year. At what point were you like, okay, here I am. I've arrived. I've this is the new thing, and I'm ready for it, and it's feeling good. I, well, I feel we, we've, we all had played together. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Danny and I and Eric had played as a trio, in fact, in t times, and then Eric and Ross had played in different, many different lines of, lineups from acoustic stuff to jazz stuff to this and that. So the language was there. Mm -hmm. It was just figuring out the nuances the of that. Yeah, the nuances of that. Well, it was nice because the chemistry, it was, there was a very natural thing that happened about it. Is, uh, it's kind of how I feel about it. So. Yeah. Yeah, it may have been. Fifty might be a little large number, 
We may have only been three, but it felt like 50. That was how many people we had. That was how many people we had. One or the other. Yeah, three or 50. 50 yeah. Average. But no, we, did, we have done a, you know, a few tours, and, we, and a lot of them have been really short, and at the end of like a three-day run, or even just one week, or a week and a, a ten-day run, and you're always just like, man, I can't wait to go out for like three weeks. Yeah. Because you're just starting to hit that stride, and I mean, things are really starting to come together. Although, as soon as we get back together, it's like we were in the band, van yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and it's just, yeah. It's, it's nice. There's, an, there's a genuine excitement about kind of what's happening, too. But yeah, we're, last year was purposeful to not... Just go, we're going to go out and do 100 shows. We're going to travel all summer. We're gonna... yeah. It was purposeful to, to step back, take a pause, take a break, take a huge breath, and let it reset. Because now we're going to be you know, uh, pretty darn busy this year. There's every, every other day, and there's just another pile of stuff that's really cool and coming up. And, and, uh, well, let's just mention at this point, then, you're going to play uh, Denver uh, Bluebird, right, mm-hmm. um, on Friday, February 6th. Yep. And here at, at the Fox, Fox yeah, Boulder on Saturday, February. Yeah, Saturday. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to play those shows. You know, this is, this is kind of where I was able to start playing music for a living. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to be received and us going in there and, and playing. We're installing chicken wire just in case it doesn't go well. <laughs> yeah. But we'll be, uh, but it, it'll be it, that part will be great. And then the other part about that that's great is that begins a nice long tour for us where we go out for a couple of weeks and then we go out for a few more weeks, you know. So it's it's starting to kind of now ramp up and our summer is going to be pretty, pretty busy. We'll watch out for that. We'll yeah. watch out for that. It will be falling from the sky everywhere, so. Well, we really enjoy the new stuff. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. This oh, is yeah, Second man. Story Garage. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually on the second story. Right. If I walked in and this was on the first floor, I was going to be pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>